basically to pop to fly a kite you need a ring this is going to go in the actual kite hookup and then a float a marker float to show you where you're at i like these marker floats here because when you hook up with a fish the float takes off and instead of the float going down into the water thereby getting like a kingfish or something to bite you off this stays right on the surface for you real nice so you end up don't getting chopped off you got another fish biting back there um, and then the other thing I do is put a uh, little lead weight on here with this and this will give the uh, the rig weight so it'll hold the bait down nicely and then of course we tie it to another swivel to stop everything I use a uni knot because I'm using braid Monofilament works much better for the kite, but uh, we're not really kite fishing right now. So the nice part about the braid is that it is very, um, very good for multiple purposes. Now, when you put this kite clip on. One of the big mistakes everybody makes is, you see how this kite is right here. If we put it on like that, once that gets out past the rod, the line is gonna be back here pulling. See how it's pinching itself? That's gonna cause the kite not to work properly. So you have to think about that going in and do a half twist. So now if you've got it this way, when it goes out, it's gonna be like that and you're gonna be good to go. So we put that little half twist in, go into our kite clip, okay? And oh. let this guy slide out awesome. a little bit. I like to just go nice and slow. Yeah. How's your bait going? Let's bring it in. Do you have a filter? Big one? I like to bridle these, but since we're trolling along kind of quickly, I'm going to hook them through the nose, just like you would anything else. And then we're going to send them out. There you have it. There's the kite out there. You can see your marker. And we've got the bait just dangling below the surface. I'll pull them up here a little bit for you so you can see them. All right? And that's it. I try to keep that bait close to the surface so that I can, I want to control them. I want them to be as, as far or as straight up and down underneath the kite as possible. Seems like you have more control. And that way if you see a fish like a sailfish or something come up on it, a lot of times you want that fish to grab the bait and you want to give them a little bit of time to eat it. If I'm straight up and down and I see what's going on, it's much easier to facilitate that. I can just throw it into freeze pool and let them run the line right off of here. When I'm ready to set the hook, I lock it up and I start cranking right out of the rod holder. Once the, the rod pops free, it'll, you know, once it comes tight, it'll hook the fish and then it'll pop free of the, the release clip and I've got to take all that line in quickly. So once I get that line in quickly, then I come up out of the rod holder, I'm tight and I fight the fish. That's it, that's how you kite fish.